computer science, the Matter School of Engineering and Appliances. So today I will do a very quick demo of ethical hacking. All right. So you, you might be surprised that ha hacking is actually a critical part of cybersecurity education. And the reason is apparent. Uh, if one has no idea of what hackers are doing, well, virtually there's no way for this person to be a good defender. So for educational purpose, uh, this lab has been equipped with a lot of powerful uh, <coughs> Hacking tools. So here I'm going to use a tool called Metasquad as one example. All right. So here I have a brand new uh, Windows 10 laptop. Uh, so I have already asked Luke to cast this screen to the uh, monitors on the wall so that we can see a big sign. Hey, I am the victim. All right. So here is my hacker's workstation. Uh, I have the professional version of the Metasquad loaded on this computer. So uh, my plan is that I have these two. Uh, interconnected using a private Wi-Fi, um, which I set up over there. So whatever I am doing here will not mess up with your devices. So basically, I'm saying that I am not hacking your phones. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> probably. All right. So uh, before today's demo, I have already uh, done the reconnaissance work on this Windows 10. I know exactly what is the build number of this OS, uh, what might be the potential vulnerabilities of this computer. So I have loaded up the uh, exploits. I have set up the security parameters so that we can do the attack directly. So let's do that. I usually back to my computer. Please, please work. All right. Uh, and then you can see that actually in two seconds, uh, I have already successfully hacked into that Windows 10 computer. All right. So at this moment, I am already the power user of that target computer. Uh, I can do whatever I want. So for example, I can take control of the web hacker of that uh, target computer by doing a simple command like this. All right, let's try that. So to prove my point, I would like to invite all of you, please, uh, look at Windows 10 computer and please wave your hand. All right, you might find that all of you are showing up on the projector screen here, right? So by the way, that is my hacker's computer, right? Uh, so many of you might be wondering. All right, oh, so, so let me give some details, all right? So the exploit I am using here is something called Eternal Blue, okay? And this is actually a, kind of like a small weapon developed by NSA, and some hackers crept into NSA and got that stolen out. Okay, so I'm using that exploit. All right. So um, many of you might wonder, hey, um, well, shall I actually should get very well dressed every time I sit before a computer? <laughs> um, I think, unfortunately, the answer is you probably should. All right. Uh, it is estimated by Tender uh, Lab, um, of over 40% of the personal computers in the United States have been com compromised at least once. So you certainly understand the risk. Uh, so you can see that um, security and privacy, privacy of personal computing devices is really, really a big challenge, right? So um, how do we deal with that problem? I think we need to invest into the future. Uh, we need to invest um, in the cybersecurity education. We need to provide the best equipment, uh, most, most cutting edge tools, and also as well as uh, qualified faculty resources to our students. All right, and I think that this research center is a great example of this investment. 